all right welcome to lely roots kitchen once again this is roots if this is your first time here thanks for dropping by so today we're going to learn how to make a fang soup you can see my freshly cut okazu leaf i found this at the market it was really fresh that i couldn't resist the first thought that came to my mind when i saw this okazu leaf was oh why can't i make a fang soup with this and i bought it so today's tutorial will be on how to make a fang soup calabar style with this freshly cut okazu leaf so i'm going to be pounding it i like to pound it with mortar i will show you how i do that please stay tuned and then my fresh water leaf i also found this water leaf at the market is really fresh i just have to buy two i've remove all the flowers and the stains that are not needed for the soup if you can't see this where the, you live you could use spinach spinach also serve the same purpose as water leaf then i have my goat meat this goat meat is direct from slaughter is very fresh as you see i didn't even cut it i just have to brush it like <laughs> so to say i just have to rush it before it's finished so you see it's i've already washed and remove all the dents see the skin very matured goat meat for my afang soup hmm it's going to be yummy 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 and then my dry cut fish i love to use dry cut fish a lot then i have my pomo i like washing my pomo with iron sponge i will show you how to do that in the next class and then my yellow chili yellow chili pepper is actually very nice it gives um afan soup a very nice flavor and a nice taste if you've not tried it please after this class try and give me your feedback at the comment section below my snail is already washed to remove all the sliming as i see on the video as you see on the video then i have my stock fish i'm going to be washing this stock fish with warm water to remove all the insects that may be stuck in there i don't want to see that in my soup <laughs> then um a fan soup is not complete without this prerenko this um isang as we call it so here is it is washed and ready okay so my hot water is ready i'm going to pour this hot water inside my stock fish and i will allow it for about five minutes before i go on to give it a proper wash clean it very well then like i always say in my videos i don't like to boil my meat with water i allow it to simmer i put everything then i cover it to simmer for 10 minutes in that way my meat will produce enough moisture and then the seasoning will get into my meat and it will be very very tasty try that you will like it you enjoy your meat okay so we are cooking a fang soup calabar style don't go away watch to the end and if this is your first time in this channel thanks for dropping back and then do hit the subscription button for me leave your like and then visit the description button for all the ingredients used in this tutorial I will add my salt then my yellow ch ch chili pepper I just blended it so that's my yellow chili pepper I just added in there okay cover to boil for 10 minutes so this is my okazu leaf i'm pounding it you could use the local engine to blend yours for me i like pounding it because the local engine always give it a different taste like a slight bitter taste which i don't like so if you don't have this energy here <laughs> feel free to use the local engine for yours so i'm going to cut my 
water leaf the way I want it. I like dicing my water leaf at home. I don't like to dice it at the market because in that way I could wash it, give it a proper wash and then cut it to the size I want. Do the same but if you have this energy, you will really like it. It's more healthy and when you take your time to pick your vegetable and then cook it to your taste, it's really really um, very good. Please stay tuned, don't go away. Let's cook together a fan soup, calabastai. Don't go away. If you, this is your first time here, thanks for dropping by. A heavy downpour here. That is the sound on the roof. Wow, it's been a while it's rained though. right so at this point i'm just going to cover my stock to boil for a while i've removed the meats and the snails so that they won't overcook so this is my okazu um after panding it that is what i just showed you that is what it looked like so it's time for me to add my chopped water leaf remember if you can't save water leaf you could use spinach spinach serve the same purpose as water leaf afan soup calabastai with isang or prewenku don't go away let's cook this together so that is my crayfish that is the quantity of crayfish three tablespoons of crayfish are in there you could use more depending on the quantity of the soup you're making that is my yellow chili i'm adding on top Then I will cover for 5 minutes and then add my palm oil, the red oil. I use um, 250 ml of palm oil for my water leaf that I'm steaming. Wow, it is ready after covering it for 10 minutes. At this point, I'm going to add back the meats that I removed and the goat meats then my starfish and my snails that i removed so that they won't overcook and i'm adding it now because the soup is almost cooked and at this point also i will add my prewenku my chopped isan that is properly washed isan don't need much time to cook it's cooked very easily so i don't i didn't need to add it from the beginning so the soup is almost ready a fang soup that is my pounded okazu leaf i'm just adding okay okay then i add 125 ml of palm oil again and then mix together stir to it blends together afan soup is almost ready to be served it can be served with any swallow of your choice fufu Samovita and any swallow of your choice could go with this. So this is it, a fang soup calabastai ready to be eaten. And here in Nigeria we serve you in parties. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next class and do subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Bye for now.